Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down what is going to be upcoming in February in terms of weather. I think the weather is going to get very interesting in February as we have a very dynamic weather setup to begin February and is going to really shape up the entire month with multiple winter storms being possible. The threat of Arctic blasts will be possible as well as we get closer to the middle of the month and as well as some severe weather as we get closer to severe weather season, that threat will also start to ramp up. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast. And let's begin with the weather pattern that'll be ongoing as we head into the first week of February, because this will really shape up the entire month when it comes to the weather. And we'll begin first with the jet stream. This gives us an idea of the weather patterns that are happening across the United States, but in this case, across the entire continent of North America. And we'll begin with Sunday into Monday. So this is January 28th and 29th. And notice what we have right now. We actually have a trough that is located back over in the Ohio Valley. That is what's bringing the potential for snow to areas in the Northeast and along with some heavy rainfall. But notice back out here to the West across the Western tier of the United States, we have a large ridge that is building. In other words, a high pressure system that is building right now across the Rocky Mountains and the Great Plains. And this is really gonna be critical here over the next week or so, because we're gonna see actually a very inactive weather pattern in the United States. Usually we're talking about active weather patterns during this time of the year since we are in winter. We get a lot more winter storms and such, but this will actually be preventing a lot of our storm activity. Why is that? Well, we have that ridge in place. Additionally, we have a very strong Pacific jet stream, and this is basically going to be our atmospheric river events where we have multiple troughs going along this jet stream west to east, crashing into the west coast of the United States, and that is literally going to be our weather pattern for at least the end of this month into early February. So notice as we get closer to January 30th in the January 31st and eventually going into the first week of February notice that this ridge does not move really at all we have a very strong ridge in place here's your meridional jet stream by the way and this will actually allow for multiple storms to come out of Canada and that'll lead to the potential for some snowfall in areas like the northeast United States perhaps the Great Lakes region wouldn't even rule out parts of the upper Midwest seeing some snowfall during this time frame and as well as the east coast of the United States but overall this ridge is going to be a very big factor in our weather for the first week of February. And this is also an Omega block pattern, by the way. It looks like the Greek letter in Omega block. We don't usually see Omega block weather patterns during this time of the year. That's something that we see a lot more during the summertime. And then once we go into February, this massive ridge, and again, it's basically like a wall. It's preventing storms from entering the United States. This ridge will begin to weaken as we get closer to next weekend. So around February 3rd and 4th. And once that happens, this will basically open up a bit. It'll open up a bit of a wall and that'll allow for this little area of storm activity to start to move into the United States and we'll basically be done with this weather pattern most likely by around the second week of February and that should allow for a lot more storms to enter in from the west coast of the United States and that therefore will lead to a much more active weather pattern in the United States but for right now it's going to be quite an inactive weather pattern for the next five to seven days the only exception right now would be back up in the northeast where there will be the potential for some snowfall and even some cold blast could even impact those areas over the next few days. Now, what does this mean in terms of temperatures? Well, this is the 500 millibar chart showing you the temperatures from average, and the 500 millibar chart doesn't necessarily represent what's happening at the ground, but it gives you an idea of right now where the weather is in terms of the temperatures. So notice this as we go to Sunday and Monday of this week, so around January 29th and 30th, we are staying relatively above average across almost all of North America in the upper atmosphere, and then once we go into Thursday and Friday of next week, so again, around the second and 3rd of February, we'll be watching for a couple of disturbances to bring some cold air masses, and this would lead to the potential for a cold blast of some sort, but it wouldn't necessarily be an Arctic blast, because all of that Arctic air is sitting well back up to the north, and notice we have a huge warm air mass that'll be in place as we go into this upcoming weekend, but that will likely change as we get closer to the middle of February, because notice there will be some colder air here in the southern tier of the United States for the first week of February, but overall that's not going to be very cold, because it's coming from the Pacific Ocean and not the Arctic. Instead, we're going to be talking about warmer air mass sitting up to the north. That'll prevent any Arctic blasts, at least for the first week of February. But by the time we get closer to the second week of February, that is when we have to pay attention a bit more to the Arctic weather because we'll have to watch and see if any Arctic blasts begin to materialize. And if one does, it could be relatively strong. We already had a stronger one back um, earlier this month. That is entirely possible that we see something else like that as we go into the middle of 
February. And by the way, this is the European ensembles. So I was just showing you the GFS model. This is the European ensembles. And this gives you also the idea that relatively quiet over the next few days, at least in terms of the weather pattern. I got a warm air mass sitting up to the north, but we might see some sort of Arctic blast trying to materialize closer to the middle of the month, but that still does remain a bit more uncertain. But cold air is likely, at least below average temperatures are likely for the southern tier of the United States for at least the first couple of weeks of February. If they're not below normal, they'll be around normal. Here are the temperature anomalies at the surface for the next several days. I want to give you an idea of what the temperatures will actually be here in the United States. In terms of the temperature anomalies, and this gives you an idea of the temperatures from average, so any of these numbers that you see here, that is the degree difference from average in terms of Fahrenheit. So we're talking 16 degrees above average, for example, over in western parts of South Dakota going into Sunday night. That's what that essentially means. And what we're going to be looking at throughout the next week or so is relatively above average temperatures for much of the United States. The only exceptions will be down here in the southeast and as well as in the northeast United States, as we will have a jet stream that'll favor more storm activity back up here in the northeast and as well as back through the Great Lakes region. But overall, cold air really not likely in the Great Lakes region. Notice back up here in Canada, by the way, 40 degrees above average in terms of temperatures. Do you remember a couple of weeks ago when we had that Arctic blast in Montana? Some areas were as low as 60 degrees below average. It's literally flipping the script. It's kind of crazy to think the weather over the last couple of weeks and where it's gone. It's just a crazy change overall. Once we go into February, though, again, temperatures will relatively stay around or above average across much of the United States. We might even see a couple of spots get close to record-breaking high temperatures for this time of the year, which is crazy to think. Then colder air is likely as we get closer to around the end of the first week of February. So around the 7th or 8th of February, that is when I expect a bit more below average temperatures as we get a much more active weather pattern. But exactly how cold it gets or how warm it stays is still very uncertain since we're still talking about a long-term forecast here. Things could easily change here over the next few days. Now, the Climate Prediction Center is on board with this forecast. As with any El Nino season, we're typically looking at above average temperatures in the northern tier of the United States. We'll be seeing that in February. No shocking information there overall. But back down in the southern tier of the United States, around normal temperatures are likely. We might still see some areas, though, below average. It's equal chances for many areas there in the southern tier of the United States. And in terms of rainfall and snow, below average snowfall and rain is expected across areas like the Ohio Valley in the northeast in February. And above average is expected back over on the west coast where the atmospheric rivers will be ongoing to start the month. And as well as back here through areas in the southeast and the southern plains, we'll be looking at some above average precipitation in those areas. Now, the last thing I wanted to go over is what we can expect in terms of the future radar over the next week or so. In terms of where there'll be snow, where will there be rain, etc. This is what we're looking at tomorrow. We'll have some snow back up in the northeast, perhaps even some winter storm warnings that will be issued in some of those areas going to Sunday into Monday morning. Eventually, Tuesday and Wednesday, pretty quiet across the United States. Really, the only thing I'd be watching for early to midweek would be this potential clipper system coming out of Canada. That might bring a little bit of snowfall to the Midwest, perhaps even the northeast, but this is still a little bit uncertain exactly where that'll go. But overall, not expecting anything too substantial out of that. Once we get closer to the end of the week, again, notice it is going to be very quiet across much of the country. The only exception by this point around Thursday and Friday would be the West Coast, where there'll be a little bit more of a ramp up of showers and even some snow across those areas from the atmospheric rivers. And by the following weekend, things become much more uncertain. The GFS model is spewing out this massive area of showers and storms, perhaps a winter storm, but that again becomes relatively uncertain once we get to that point. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.